What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodingView.com and in this video, we're going to build this simple image viewer app with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to build this simple image viewer app. Now this is a very basic image viewer app, but it should be a lot of fun. So we can open a file, boom, the image opens. We can open another one, come back, boom, the image opens. So we're going to build on what we did in the last video using the file dialog box, this thing right here and use it to open an image file. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this PyQt5 series. So check that out if you haven't seen it so far. So I've got some basic PyQt5 starter codes, the same code we always have. I named it image.py. So the first thing we need to do is create a GUI and we're gonna use the designer for that. So let's head over to our terminal and you can see I'm in my C PyQt5 directory. I've got my virtual environment turned on as always. And let's just open the designer. Okay, and we want to create a main window. So let's go ahead and create that. And let me just sort of resize this a little bit. We don't need it quite that big. So what do we want here? We want a button. So let's grab a push button, sort of bring this down here. And let's make this bigger, something like that. And I'm going to put open file here. And let's come over here and change the font size in that just for fun. Changes to 16. Okay, that looks good. Now we need something to put the image in. So I'm just going to use a label, sort of a common thing. So I'm going to come down here, grab a label, bring it up here and let's resize this guy. And I'm going to double click this and remove the text. And when I do, it sort of highlights it and it turns out a little white. So we could sort of see the size of this thing a little better. So I'm going to make this a smidge bigger. That looks good. Now I'm also going to click here and come over here and play around with some stuff here. So if we scroll down here, we can see the alignment and the horizontal alignment is aligned left. That means any image we put on here will be aligned left. I want to put this center. So I'm just going to change this to align H center and okay, that should work. So let's go ahead and save this guy. Come up here, file, save as, and I want to be in my PyQt5 directory. I'm just going to call this image. So this is going to be image.ui. So if we head back over to our code, we see we're loading this as image.ui right here and we're good to go. So let me open that file real quick just to see what we have. And because we're going to need to grab some stuff out of it. So now we need to define all of the widgets that we're going to be using. So here, Q push button, let me grab that and we can slap that in there. And let's come down here and define this widget as we always do. So let's go self dot and I'm just going to call this button and set that equal to self dot find child. And that's a Q push button. And what is it called? What's the name of it? If we come in here, the name is push button. So we can bring that back over here. And okay, we also have a label. So I'm gonna copy this a second time and let's call this one label. And so let's come through here and find that guy. And there it is, Q label. So I'm gonna come up here and first import it here. And then also come down here and add it there. What's the name of this label? Let's just name it label as usual. So we can put that there. Okay. so. We're also going to need the file dialog box. We learned how to use this thing in the last video and we know we have to import that. So that's just Q file dialog right there. So now when we click that button, we want something to happen. So let's go self dot button dot clicked dot connect. And when we click that button, we want to run the self dot clicker function and we haven't created that function yet. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's define clicker. We want to, we want to pass in self as always. Now, what do we want to happen whenever we click that button? Well, the first thing we want to happen is a file dialog box to pop up so that we can, you know, find the file we want to open, the image we want to open. So let's create a variable called f name for file name. Set that equal to q file dialog dot get open file name. And again, we learned how to do this in the last video. If you didn't see that, go ahead and check the playlist for a link to that and go ahead and watch that video. And here we want the title to say, I don't know, open file. And where do we want the default directory to be? Where do we want the thing to open as? Well, I'm going to put this in my C slash slash GUI directory slash slash images because I've got a, a folder that has a bunch of images in it. That's where it's located on my computer. So that's where I'll put that. And finally, what types of files do we want to open? Well, we want to open image files. So that's like PNG, maybe JPEG, or we could just do all files. So I'm just going to go all files and that's going to be star. If we wanted to, we could also go like PNG files and that's going to be star.png. We could also go JPEG files 
and that's just going to be, you know, star.jpg. You can add all the other different file extensions you want, but we've already done all files, so we're pretty much covered there. So, okay, so now we want to open the image. And to do that, we're going to use something called a PixMap. And we have to actually import PixMap. So I'm going to come up here and let's go from pyqt5.qt GUI. We want to import qpixmap. Okay. Now down here, we can use that. So let's create a variable called self.pixmap. And we're going to set that equal to a qpixmap function. And what do we want to pass in? Well, whatever name we picked in our file dialog box. But remember, this returns a tuple, so we need to put the zeroth item of the tuple. So that will define it. Now we need to actually slap it onto the label. So remember, we called our label self.label up here, right? So then we can do dot set picks map, and then we can just pass in this guy right here that we just sort of defined. And if we want to do a little comment, we could say add pick to label, whatever. So that should do the trick. Let's head over to our terminal and run this guy. But before we do that, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books. For one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, end of commercial. Let's run this guy. So Python image.py. And when we do, we can click this button, boom, it up, it opens up. Notice we're in our C GUI images directory, and we can grab a file, open it, and boom, it works. Notice that it's nice and centered here. If I pick another one, say this long one, it's also nice and centered. We can come through here and uh, grab all kinds of different sized files. They're all nice and centered. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing there. So very cool. Now you'll notice that it's centered. That's because in the designer, we click this horizontal center thing. If we change it back to what it was left, and I go ahead and save this file, we can come back here and run this guy again. Now when we do, if we open a file, say this guy, boom, the image is over here on the left, right? Maybe you want that, maybe you don't. You know, I don't want that. <laughs> I like it much better centered. So I'm gonna come back here, change this to H center, come back up here, file, save this. And this is the nice thing about setting up our files like this. We can make a change in the designer and it automatically reflects back in our Python file because we're importing this UI file right here and sort of setting it up like this, which we learned how to do four or five videos ago. So check that out if you haven't seen it so far. So very cool, very easy. Now I get it. This is a very basic image viewing app and it is, but it's a nice way to sort of tie together the open file dialog thing that we learned in the last video with you know doing something with the files that you're opening. In this case, we're just opening an image file and slapping it onto a label. No great functionality in this little app, but it's an interesting thing to learn and you learn how to use images at least. And now you can make this much more complicated. You could put a back button and a forward button. You could create a list of images. You could do all kinds of fun things. Hopefully you could probably figure out how to do most of that on your own. But if not, leave a comment below this video and maybe we'll get into that in a future video. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. You own over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.